This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32, in the words to the Holy Scriptures. It reads, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shad, Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Archeum, scattered the full corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely as well. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out in the title of the lesson is John 8 and 32. Right, so this true this truth is making us free in the latter days because we're coming back into who we actually really are, you know, as the children of Israel, especially us so called African Americans, which is from the tribe of Judah. You know, we're coming back of, of us being the children of Israel, especially the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. You know, the tribes are coming back together in the latter days, you know, especially Judah and Ephraim, the top tribes from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. But this is primarily focusing on the uh, southern kingdom, which is the top, top tribe from the tribe of Judah, which is the so-called African-Americans. You know, we are from the tribe of Judah. We are the children of Israel. We are the actual descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and was yet changed to Israel. So we are the children of Israel. We are the sons of Jacob, you know. So we're coming back into who we actually really are. This is a, a truly a, a increasing a, awakening of who we actually really are in the latter days. And Heavenly Father is waking up his uh, sons and daughters in the latter days. And that's what you're seeing, a great awakening. That we've been scattered through the four corners of the globe. You know, the dispersed of Judah through the four winds of the globe. Judah and Israel, you know, we've been scattered. So you're going to have Israel that's like. So you're going to have Israel that been scattered through the four winds of the globe, especially from the tribe of Judah, not just only over here in North America. You know, we've been scattered through all the places. So we're not 13 percent of the population. You know, that's not that's not true. That's not true facts. That's uh, deceitful, you know, so that shows a prime example that just like it says in Hosea 1 and 10, Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. That shows you that the children of Israel is way over the 13% population. We've been scattered throughout the four winds of the globe. Israel been scattered. Definitely the, the, uh, the dispersed of Judah through the four winds of the globe. And you can read that in Isaiah 11 and 11 verse 13. Because he's going to gather back. He's going to gather back the remnant of his people. You know, in Hosea 1 and 10, as I referenced that scripture. So those are prime examples of the truth is making us free in the latter days, coming back to who we actually really are, you know, because we're not black. Black is a color, you know, we're different shades of brown, you know, to the lighter, lighter brown, to the darker brown. We are different shades of brown. So that black that was labeled on us, we're not, we're not actual black, you know, we're uh, different shades of brown to the lighter brown, to the darker brown. So we are the children of Israel. We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So those are prime examples that I've just mentioned as I brought out John 8, 32, which this is the title of the list. Hey, this truth is making us free in the latter days and it's gonna continue to wake us up and who we actually really are in the latter days, you know? So with that, this was just a uh, sit down lesson of I want to bring out of John 8, 32. And ye should know the truth, and the truth should make us free. Right, and the truth is definitely making us free in the latter days of who we actually really are as the children of Israel. We are the Israelites. We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And we are definitely coming back up to us waking up of who we actually really are. And that's why you see us out there, street teaching, street preaching, the ministries of Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, you know. Waking up our people out there on the streets teaching, waking them up, telling who they actually really are as the children of Israel, you know, especially in the latter days, especially the times that we are in, you know. That's why we're continuing to wake up in the latter days, just like it says in uh, Romans 13 and 11. For now it's high time to wake out of sleep because our salvation there than we believe. So we're starting to uh, wake up of who we actually really are in the latter days, that great awakening, you know of us being the children of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash. 
Mr. Shalom to the uh, elders of Great Millstone for preaching words you for sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, for preaching words you for sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.